Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a full face of old favorites. So this video was actually inspired by the last video that I did, which is where I talked about a whole bunch of makeup that I think I would still own, stuff that I think I would still be using on a regular basis if I had never started a YouTube channel. I'll make sure I'll link that video in case you haven't seen it. But for today's video, I decided to pull out a lot of those products and use them for my makeup today. So I'm gonna show y'all what I used in my look for today. But before we get into the makeup today, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you join me. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and I'm like this close. So I would really, really appreciate it if you would help me out and subscribe. If you do subscribe today, please let me know in the comments so I can be sure to say thank you because I would be so grateful if you decide to join my channel. Okay, you guys. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. For the first time in what's going to seem like forever, I'm actually not going to be using my Fenty foundation today, even though that is one of the foundations that I talked about in my last video. But today I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation, and I'm going to be mixing some of the L'Oreal Gloomy Lotion with it. So it's been a long time since I used this foundation, so I just want to shake it up a little bit and just get like the ingredients just flowing again because it's been sitting for a long time. So I'm starting off with like maybe one and a half pumps of the foundation. The one thing I don't like about this, and I've been having this issue like every single time I use it, it's really hard to pump the foundation out of here. Like I don't know if I got like a defective bottle or something, but it's so hard to pump it out. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit too. It's also been a while since I used this one. And I'm gonna do about that much of the Lumi Glotion, and this one is in the shade Rose Gold. Okay, and I'm just blending that out with my sponge. This foundation has kind of like a thick consistency to it, so this is definitely one that I always blend out with a sponge rather than a brush. So I know I mixed this um, L'Oreal lotion with a foundation before. I don't think it was the NYX one though, but it was a while ago. I can't remember what foundation it was, but I don't even think I had the NYX foundation back then, but I'm just curious to see, you know, how this looks with with this foundation and so far I really like it okay so this is what my foundation looks like mixed in with that liquid highlighter and I really like the way it looks it took away some of that matte finish from that NYX foundation which is what I was expecting but I think it looks nice mixed together so let me know what y'all think for my concealer today i'm going to be using the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer i'm going to be mixing these two shades together this is 400 caramel and 415 honey so i like to start off with the lighter shade which is caramel going to be using most of this shade and then i'm going to be mixing in a little bit of the darker shade which is honey I feel like caramel should be darker than honey. Like the name, to me, the name is backwards with these two shades. So I kind of changed up the way that I blend out my concealer just a little bit. I like to do it in two layers. So I like to put one layer on, blend that out, then do another layer and then blend that out. And I usually blend it out with a brush because I feel like it gives you more coverage. Lately, I've been blending out the first layer of my concealer with a sponge and it's really just to save time because with a sponge, you do blend it out faster. But like I said, I think with a brush, you get more coverage so I'm gonna blend this first layer out with my sponge but the second one I will go in with the brush okay so that's the first layer blended out I'm gonna go in with a little bit more but this time I'm also gonna put some on the corners of my mouth on my chin and on my forehead and then just mixing in some of the darker color so I'm gonna blend it out on my forehead and chin now and then the concealer that's on my under eye and the corner of my mouth, I'm gonna let that sit and thicken up a little bit. I'm gonna do my brows off camera and then I'll come back and blend the rest of this out. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend out the rest of the concealer and this time I am gonna use a brush. So I like using a brush for the corners of my mouth and for my under eye, just so that the coverage is a little higher in these areas. And then after I get it blended out, like right in this immediate under eye area, I take the residual concealer and then I like drag it down 
a little bit and then drag it out toward my temples just so that I can get like a little brightness up in this area. I don't necessarily need coverage like right up in here, just a little brightness, but I try to concentrate most of the concealer like right here. Okay, so I have my concealer all blended out and I am noticing it looks like my under eye, the finish of this concealer is not quite as hydrating as the regular one that I use, the Too Faced concealer. Maybe I just don't remember that because it has been a while since I used this L'Oreal concealer. It still looks nice, it just doesn't look, it, it is looking like a little more matte than my uh, Too Faced concealer. So I'm just gonna keep that in mind when I'm setting my under eye. So after I have my concealer all blended out, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation sponge and then I'm just going to pat over the under eye concealer just to further smooth it out and then I'm just gonna kind of pat my sponge pretty much all over my face I just want to make sure that everything is blended out especially any area where like concealer is meeting foundation I just don't want any demarcation to show so I'm just making sure everything is nice and blended and to set everything, I'm gonna be using my Matte Patrick Star Powder. So I think I'm gonna use another powder instead, but I just wanna show y'all this really quickly. So when I tried to, that's the powder inside of the pan. When I tried to sift it out, it wasn't really coming out of the little holes in the sifter. So I took the whole sifter off so that I could get to the powder. And I'm noticing that a lot of it is balled up. I don't think I've ever had an old powder do that before. So I'm guessing that's why it wouldn't come through the sifter. And it could be because this is old, but I have other old powders and I don't recall them doing that. So I think I'm gonna go in with another powder instead I just think the way that the powder looks and the fact that it's balling up like that it may not give me like that smooth finish that I want so instead I'm gonna go in with my Ben Nye luxury powder this is in the shade 40 rose petal I'm gonna see if I can show this to you without spilling it but there's a whole lot of powder that like fell out of the sifter so I'm just gonna have to be careful but I just want you guys to see the color of this powder so I'm hoping y'all can see that I'm gonna go in with this one instead because it still looks the way that it looked when I bought it and this powder is even older than the Patrick Star one so but I'm gonna start off with dipping my sponge into the powder and I'm just gonna lightly set my under eye I'm not gonna put a whole lot of powder on my under eye area because like I said it is already looking a bit more matte than the other concealer that I normally use and then lately to set the rest of my face, I've been using my sponge. I usually use a brush for this, but I guess because like the weather is warmer, more humid, just to make sure that my foundation is lasting a little longer, I've been setting my whole face with my sponge. I usually just take residual powder to set my forehead. I don't really like putting a whole lot of product on my forehead anyway because my foundation tends to crease on my forehead and it drives me crazy. So I just feel like when I put powder up there, it makes it look maybe a little more dry and it, the creases are a bit more noticeable. So I just put residual powder up here on my forehead. So moving on to eyeshadow, I already went and primed my lids. I have on the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. That's the lighter shade toward the bottom of my lid. And I also have on the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer toward the brow bone. And for eyeshadow today, I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Sensuals Palette. So in my last video, I talked about four palettes that I think I would still have, um, even if I hadn't started YouTube. So this is one of the four, and I just chose the one that I hadn't used in the longest out of all four so this would be that one this is what it looks like and I think I'm gonna go in with um, this shade here this is called mystify and I do remember it's been a long time since I've used this palette and I think I used to always use the shade cloud nine for like the main color in my look. But just to do something different, I'm gonna go in with this purple shade. Maybe I never used this before, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna concentrate on this color today. So I'm going to put this on most of my lid. And I mentioned in that last video, I like this palette so much because it's like really nice and cool toned. I do have a few warm tone palettes that I really like, but cool tones are my favorite and I just feel like most 
people don't feel that way. Like I know there's other people out there who like cool tone shadows, but it just seems like everybody loves the warm tones. It's unfortunate, but oh well. I feel like people don't really know like what they're missing out on by always going with those warm like yellows and golds and all that. I think these types of colors are nice and pretty too. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade over here. It's called Upgrade. I'm gonna put that on the inner part of the lid. And this shade is kind of like a, uh, I guess like a purple shade with like a silvery undertone to it. So I'm just gonna let this one overlap that first purple, kind of like a third of the way in. I think I got a little fallout. Yeah, I got a little bit of fallout on my cheek there. So I'm thinking instead of using another shade in here for my outer corner, I think I'm actually going to use a bronzer out here instead. So the one, the bronzer that I'm gonna be using on my face, I think it's a little too light cause I like a subtle bronzer. So I think I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is in the shade 40 Dark. I think I'm gonna use this as an eyeshadow today and put that like on the outer part of the lid. So let me see if I can show y'all what it looks like this is like a nice reddish tone powder i used to bronze with this all the time this isn't going to be the one that i'm going to be using for bronzer today but i think it'll look better on my eye as opposed to what i am going to be using for bronzer because that other product that i'll show you in a minute it's not quite as dark as this so i think i'm going to put this on the outer part of my lid here i was going to go in with like a matte purple shade out here but i feel like instead i just want like a bronzer like a brownish tone shade out here and then I'm also going to drag this all the way in to almost all the way into the inner corner and I'm just going to put a little more and just keep building it up I'm just blending right where the purple and the brown shades are meeting each other I'm just blending that little area just to make sure it's nice and blended out here I'm gonna stick with that same Maybelline powder and I'm gonna use that to put it on the very outer corner of my lower lash line. And then I'm just going back in with that other brush. I haven't picked up any more product, but now I'm just connecting the eyeshadow that's on the lower lash line to the eyeshadow on the top. Okay, I'm not sure what I wanna use for my brow bone highlight or my inner corner. I don't know if I wanna use a color in the eyeshadow palette or what I'm gonna be using for my cheek highlight. So I'm gonna skip that for now and we're gonna go back to the face. So for my bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Endless Summer. Now compared to some of the other products that I'm using today, this isn't one that's like super old. It's only been maybe like, maybe like a couple months, maybe not even that long since I've used this product. Whereas some of the other stuff that I'm using today, it's been quite some time, like some of them maybe over a year old since I've last used them. But this one, um, the only other like older bronzer that I have is this that I used to use as a bronzer. This one I probably haven't used in over a year, but I'm going in with this one today instead just because it's a softer bronzer, which is why I switched to this from that Maybelline powder. But I've been buying bronzers like crazy because, you know, it's the time of year for them. So it just seems like everybody's coming out with bronzers right now. So I just bought like four or five new ones, which is why I haven't really touched this lately because I've just been using some of the other newer ones that I have. So back when I first started YouTube, I never used to bronze or contour my forehead. And I don't know what I was thinking because I have a pretty big forehead and I don't know. I just feel like maybe I was kind of scared to put product up here because I do get really oily and really shiny on my forehead. I'm just switching over to a smaller brush just to get my nose, but I used to be kind of scared to put product up there. Just thinking, you know, the less product that I have up there, the less likely I am to get oily. But now it's like, I can't not, not bronze my forehead. <laughs> so after I bronze my nose, I like to take my residual foundation and dab back over it just to soften it back down because I don't like a super snatched looking nose. I just want like the mention in my nose and my face in general. So I'm just softening that back down. 
I don't know, I just feel like bronzer just brings everything together in a look. It's like becoming my favorite part of a makeup routine. Like it just seems like it just brings everything together and I'm not even, you know, done with the whole look yet. Okay, and for blush, I'm gonna be using the ABH Radiant Blush Kit. I think this one might be limited edition, but I'm not sure. I feel like it was like a holiday, part of a holiday collection or something. So I'm gonna be mixing these two shades over here. These are called Coastline and Terra. So I'm gonna mix those two together just putting that right on the apple parts of my cheek I think blush is another product that kind of like brings your face to life just giving you like that flush of color kind of making you look like a week but I feel like if I had to choose between blush and bronzer I would definitely choose bronzer but I feel like blush also kind of like just transforms a look and for highlighter I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi powder highlighter it's called powder glow illuminator so this is what I'm using for my cheek highlight and this is basically the powder version of the stuff that I use to mix with my foundation. So I'm just going to swirl my brush around in all of these shades and use that as my cheek highlight. And this is like a nice subtle highlighter which is good because I love highlighters but lately I've been wanting like more of a subtle look for my highlighter. So I'm just putting some down the center of my nose. I think I am going to use this one on my brow bone and my inner corner instead of going back into the eyeshadow palette. Yeah, I like that. Okay, to set everything in place, I actually forgot to talk about setting powder in that last video. I just completely skipped over that. But for setting powder, or setting spray rather, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Fix and Go setting spray. This is another product that I haven't used in a very long time. I've been using that Fenty spray like crazy. But today I'm going to go ahead and use this one and show this one some love. Okay, I'm just letting this dry down a little bit. I think I hear fireworks outside and it is just too early for fireworks. We've been dealing with fireworks every single day around here since Memorial Day weekend and it is driving me crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with my eyeliner and mascara. I'm gonna do these off camera like I always do. So I'm using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner and the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. So I'll do these off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I will zoom you in so you can get a close up of the eye. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna finish everything off with my Maybelline Brown Blush Lipstick. And that's what this one looks like. This is my favorite lipstick like ever. And I think this has been discontinued. So I'm kind of upset about that. <laughs> So here's the lipstick. Um, I'm pretty sure if this has been continued, I'm pretty sure I can find another lipstick that looks just like this, probably even one from Maybelline, but this is like my favorite lipstick ever. So I really hope that that's not true, but we shall see. Okay, you guys, so here is my finished look for today using a whole bunch of stuff that I haven't touched in a very long time. So I wasn't really planning for this to happen, but I feel like the look looks very like monochromatic. It looks very like mauve-y. I really like it, so I'm happy with it, but I just wasn't planning for everything to like come out matching so perfectly, I guess. But let me know what y'all think. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I hope to see y'all back here for my next video. Until then, take care. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.